What if I told you that you are literally blocking your ability to manifest and also blocking the speed of your manifestations when you ignore or don't express your all of your emotions? And you might be thinking, what? What does emotions have to do with manifesting? It doesn't seem like a direct connection for many of us. So here's the thing. When you stuff your feelings, numb out your feelings, ignore them, distract them, uh, put them away. Most of us do that because we don't want to feel all the feelings. We don't want to feel the sadness or anger because it's unpleasant, or maybe it'll take control of us, or maybe we feel... Um, will feel worse. But what you want to understand, we are born with all these feelings for a reason. And fully feeling the feelings means you get to be all of you. And when you block them, stuff them, you're literally blocking your life force. And the life force is your magnetic energy to attract that what you want to manifest and, and to receive the desires that you want. So here's how I explain it. You want something, whatever your something is. Maybe you want to double your income. Maybe you want to create online workshops. Maybe you want to find the love of your life, whatever that is. So it's here, you want it. And it's all here, out here already available to you, but you're not manifesting it because right here in the middle between this and this is a veil, is your shield. And the shield is all the feelings that you've been holding back basically fear, some kind of fear, fear I'm not enough, fear I'll fail, fear of success, fear of something. And that shield, by not processing those emotions, that shield is holding you back from that that's already out there. Does that make sense? If it does, put in the comment, yeah, that makes sense. Or maybe you had an aha just now. So, I'll give you an example how this shows up in my story. So many, many years ago, I wanted to start my practice as a therapist, which I am, and then later a coach, which I already am. And I, I, I stopped myself. I had a low paying job. I was in my comfort zone and I was scared and I held beliefs that I'm not enough. Who am I to be an entrepreneur? I don't have those capabilities. Those were all my fears. And I sat on that dream for at least a couple of years, but I wanted it so bad. But to understand while I was sitting in my fears, that's what blocked me from having the, the practice because I would make a little move and then stop. So it's kind of putting your foot on the gas and then stopping. Stop. Can you relate to that? So when I started realizing what I'm doing and my passion was to have that out there, that beautiful practice where I could help clients in a big way, I started working on my own fears and I used some of the techniques that I'm gonna talk about right now. And when I started releasing the fears, I was able to step out of my comfort zone, opening up that shield, opening up my magnetic energy and that's when I became empowered and took action. That's it. That's why this is so, so important. So I have a free gift below. It's called the Tapping Series. Let me give you the name of it exactly. And it's called Heal Your Blocks to Success. And if you don't know the tapping technique, which takes minutes to do, all you're going to do inside my gift is plug in your specific fear. You'll connect with what is it that I'm afraid of to manifest this. You'll plug it in. I'll tap with you and you'll start chipping away, clearing and releasing the blocks. And that is what's going to get you to manifest more and manifest faster. That's what's inside of the gift. So get it now because the sooner you do it, the sooner you're going to get closer to what you want. And that is my goal for you. That's why I do this channel. So if you like this and this was helpful, please like, give me a like or a comment and subscribe to the channel because this channel is all about rising to your higher self. So I do a lot of soul coaching here, healing your blocks to success and manifesting. Hope to see you on the channel soon.